What's going on everyone? It's Rich Lux and in today's video, girl, you won't believe the drama. Rich Lux exclusive. Oh my gosh. Okay. Nikki tutorials came for me to house. Okay. I, I can't believe it. Okay. So, uh, major drama. First of all, I'm just really excited that Nikki Toriel's even acknowledged me because I, I, I thought she hated me, but she doesn't. And um, she talks about drama and stuff. So, let me play you the clip. Here we go. Hey, I quickly wanted to um, clarify something. So the other day I tweeted that in this community, um, we all kind of thrive on like shady tweets for like likes and, and laughter. And um, it just so happens that Rich Lux also tweeted about me doing 70,000 skulls last year during Holly Week, which is absolutely true. Um, it's just coincidence that we treated that at the same time because I wasn't talking about Rich. I was just talking about the community in general, you know, this community really loves the shadiness. And then we we're like, oh, ha, ha. and I feel like at the end of the day, it's so important to remember that we're all human beings with feelings. And, um, really, I know that I did 17,000 skulls. I am very aware. So I was not but hurt over that one. So, uh, that's all. That's all. Also, this Halloween week, only one skull. Promise. Okay, final thing. So, I just want to clarify. You guys know that I'm okay with the drama channels. I mean, they keep me grounded. They keep me real. Um, I don't... I have nothing against Rich Lux. I, I kind of watch them here and there. So, um, let there be love. That's all. Okay. I'm gonna finish doing my hair now. Bye. Now, look. We need to talk. Because she still has not said that my makeup skills are 10 times better than hers, whatever it be. She hasn't said it yet. Maybe one day, one day we're lucky, okay? All right, so we got some more drama. So for those of you who aren't caught up, I found this super, super old receipt. Oh, but she said that because I had said, you know, that, you know, she did this sugar skull look. Now look, there's nothing wrong. You know what? Now I want to do a sugar skull for Halloween. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Like now I want to do a sugar skull. I mean, they're fun, but like it can get, it's just like, there are some people in this world that if they get comfortable, they just like wear it all the time. Whether it's like a boot or shoe or fashion, a makeup look, it's like they're easy go-to, you know? And I think that a sugar skull is one of those looks that it's just like, oh, it's Halloween, let's do a sugar skull. It's just very that. It's like, it's Halloween, let's wear orange. It's Halloween, let's wear a pumpkin shirt, let's carve pumpkins. Like, it's very that. It's one of those things, it's like, you know, during this time, people are gonna wear Uggs, they're gonna wear sweaters that are kind of like palish, kind of white, and then they're gonna drink pumpkin spice lattes and pumpkin bread. Like, it's just very that, right? It's just expected. And you know what? Now I wanna kind of do it too. You know, all year long, it's like, oh, it's so basic, girl. Oh, my God. But now, like, once you're in the mood and the season, you're all happy about it. Like, don't judge me, okay? All right, so here we go. So, Nikki Toros posted on her Instagram or Twitter or something. I'm reading their receipts. I have all their receipts. Now that this situation is in the past, it was the biggest lesson I've ever had to learn. But I'm glad it brought me to much, so much knowledge. I'm thankful to Ofra Cosmetics for showing me how it should be done now. Glow, babies. The future is bright. I have exciting things happening soon. Oh, for cosmetics. Oh, my God. I'm just joking. Look, somewhere in the world, Nikki Tutorials teamed up somehow, somewhere. Why? With Over Cosmetics. And they had this, like, beautiful friendship together, right? They did, like, a highlighter. They did, they did like, a box thing. Like, it's very that, right? I'm pretty sure they pay her very well. But... I just feel, and we we talked about this before, and a lot of people feel this way too. Nikki Tutorials to me is better than Over Cosmetics. Let, I, let me take that back. I feel that she can do better. She's above. Like Over Cosmetics, don't get me wrong, is a good brand. I've seen it. I've used it. It works. It's not bad at all. It's a product that works. But it's not, in my opinion, a huge mega brand. And maybe she doesn't need a huge mega brand. Maybe she's like, I don't want it. But I just kind of, I see, I just see Nikki Tutorials, like, I don't know, like, girl, like, Anastasia Beverly Hills, can they give her a palette? I'm much, I'd rather have a Nikki Tutorials Anastasia Beverly Hills palette than a boring ass, love some mud, uh, Carly Bible palette. Oh my God, like, it's so boring. Give me Nikki Tutorials palette. Or like, Mac. Mac is due for their next influencer collaboration. They did Patrick Starr. They did four or five collabs. Do Nikki next. Hello? 
you know, like somebody needs to like come in and swoop her in. There's nothing wrong with Oph Okra, Ofra. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying like, you know, she, you had a nice run with them. Let's let's do something bigger. Okay, anyways, this is my opinion. I'm not, don't come for me to have, but here we go. She, here's what she says. It goes as follows. I had to see all these negative reviews while the palettes I had were outstanding. They are lying in their videos to get views is what I was told. I don't care about the money, but I had to fight years to prove my authenticity and gain your trust again. So here's here's what happened, okay? It has been exposed, Nikki Tutorials, the palette that she got wasn't the same quality as the one everyone else got, okay? It has been exposed allegedly by Dustin Daly on his channel that the palette that everyone else got was made at Oxygen Labs by Too Faced Cosmetics. That was just some drama. That was just some rumors going around. It's all in the past, okay? But very interesting nonetheless, but here we go. I signed my contract with Too Faced back then because I was naive and didn't know better. At the end of the day, I signed it. It's my own fault. But what I'll never forgive is that allegedly, they changed the palette's quality behind my back. Thousands of negative reviews and I was clueless. That was the tea, girl. Can you imagine that? Can, oh, speaking of collabs, girl, uh, what is going on? Can you imagine having a product that they gave you, it works super good on you, it ships out to the masses and everyone's giving it negative reviews and you're like, what? 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 It's very that. So I kind of feel bad for her. Like, man, they did her dirty girl on the contract, on the quality. They just kind of like, I don't know. It's it's all wrong, girl. Okay, so here we go. Because she, she has more tea. And to any influencers about to get a collab, get a lawyer and triple check that. Sh so, I mean, for those of you who are not caught up on the drama, this tea started two years ago off a, a Snapchat that Jeffree Star did, Let me, it's a very old one, but here we go, so we can all, you know, we're gonna tell it, we're gonna tell it. All right, here it goes. Hey guys, I thought the subject was almost over with Jared and Too Faced, but they've still stayed silent. I don't know where anyone else comes from or how you're raised, but in my family, when you stay silent like that, it basically means you're guilty. Why can't you talk about it? Why can't you speak? But obviously, loyalty does not um, stay close to Jared because a two-faced employee has leaked me the Nikki Tutorials contract. Now, I would never post it without Nikki's blessing, so if she wants to give me the okay, it will go live. And if she says no, she says no. Hey guys, I didn't think I would be coming on here so soon, but some crazy shit is going down right now and I am just in literal shock. So if you guys don't know, recently Jared and Too Faced sold their brand. So he's not the current owner, but he has been the owner for the last 15 years. He may not technically own the brand anymore, but he is like me where I am the face of my own brand and he is still the creative director. So I'm logging on today and I uploaded a new video to YouTube and people start sending me all these screenshots of Jared's own sister going crazy about me. Here is Lisa, who is Jared's sister. Of course, she has a quote from him on her page, and this is her screen name on Instagram. Here is her going off in the comment section telling people, you can't buy Too Faced anymore. You are no longer in your life allowed to ever look at a precious piece of Too Faced. She goes on to say, if I ever see a piece in your clammy hands, I'll smack it out so hard it'll fly for miles. Now get off here and go play with your Revlon. Wow. And then she goes on to say, you need to pray for Jeffrey with a fist at the end, which to me is an indirect threat. I don't know how you guys take it, but that's disgusting. And she even made an Instagram post about me. Um, and she jokes and says that I have mental problems, which if you really think that's something to even mention is so sad. She is comparing me telling the truth to the public as a mental problem. So me exposing something that you're afraid of, that means I have mental problems. She goes on to say that no one buys my clown makeup. No, no one, no one buys my makeup, huh? Huh, that's, that's news. <laughs> is she serious? The fact that she 
is comparing drugstore brands to her brand being superior, telling me that I don't sell anything. I'm like, the ego, t the ego, the ego on those two, the just insecurities they're projecting, the immaturity level for their age is just sad. I will never let someone take me down to their level. I will not be dragged down to the filth that they come from. Um, I know and I respect myself more than that. You think that they would give it up for the underdog. I'm not owned by a corporation. I am a multi-million dollar brand that has come from rags to riches and you're upset at that? You guys, they sold their company for so much money, they'll never be able to spend the money that they've made off of their brand in 10 lifetimes, but they're mad at my hustle and my bank account? I just never imagined as someone who 10 years ago bought their first Too Faced palette would be having the owner and his sister degrade me and treat me like like this. It's sad. I am disappointed in them as a fan of makeup, as a beauty lover, and as a brand owner and a business owner. I am just disgusted. Their motto is own your pretty and being secure and self-love and they're calling my brand clown makeup. <laughs> I guess I just want to end this conversation by saying thank you to everyone watching this. Thank you guys for supporting me, for having my back, for buying my brand and making me who I am. I hope that they can come back to earth and realize that money does not make you superior. You are not better than me or anyone. Hopefully someone can call those two and, and say, hey, put down the phone, stop making it worse for yourself and relax and own it. Now, I've heard so many things behind the scenes the last few days and the main issue is Nikki's contract and they're mad that I spoke the truth and that the truth is out there. They can't handle it. I think if they want to do the right thing, they should apologize to Nikki for doing her dirty and they should own up to their mistakes, say sorry, and keep it moving and then people will support them. But I cannot support a brand that is treating me personally like this, so I will not be using Too Faced on my channel ever again. I'm good. I just want to tell you that my lipstick with Hank and Henry is back. It's back in stock. I'm going to give it a swatch. I'm going to give it a big old swatch. Okay, here we go. So if you like have been wanting this lipstick, it's right here too. Check it out. I love this. It's this one right here. This is this is like my eyeshadow colors, but yeah. But this is down here. So if you like the color or if you want to like support and you like lipsticks, if you love the the brand Hack and Henry, it's so cool. So it looks like like a regular like bullet lipstick, but it is totally a liquid lipstick. See that? And it smells so good. It smells almost like a cupcake or like like a cake, a batter. It smells so good. But anyways, guys, so if you're interested in the lipstick, I'll put the link down below so you can check it out. Uh, we worked really hard on it and it sold out and now it's back in stock. So if you missed out, you can get it now. Okay. All right. So that was a lot of drama. I mean, that was a long time ago. Like, wow. I remember when that story broke. I was at the mall. Literally, I was at the Chanel makeup counter and I was like testing out makeup and like spraying the perfume. Just having a good time. Like, literally, it was like... I just want to get away and have fun. And then my phone was like blowing up, blowing up. And then people were calling and texting. And I was like, wow, what do you guys want? They're like, Jeffree Star. Jeffree Star exposed Two-Face. And I was like, what? And then I saw his his recording. And I was like, girl, this is going to be some tea. And I went home. I recorded the video. And, I, and you know, it, we, it was a thing back then. And then now, I mean, everyone was talking about it back then. But then now it got blown up even bigger because now Shane Dawson brought it. And it was just like, I think that video has like 20 million views now. So Shane Dawson really opened up a new wound. And it was just like, wow, you know, it's insane. And, the you know, Jared Blandino, which is the, the CEO of Too Faced at that time or whatever, because he had sold the brand, whatever. He still, he still works for the company. Like he should, I always said that he needs to come out, out of pocket and pay Nikki. It's like, what is the word? And I said this time and time again, I'm gonna keep saying it girl over and over. It's like, you have to have integrity, be the bigger person and be like, you know what? I'm, you did get screwed on that deal girl, but I want to make it right because I don't want people to think I'm a bad person and this cut her a deal, but he, like, he doesn't do that. He has enough money to do it and he doesn't have to give her $5 million. He could just be like, look girl, from my own pocket, here's a million, you know, and hopefully we can do something in the future. I know you probably don't want to work with me, but really, I, I really do want to work with you again. I think it's just on and popping right now, girl. Anything she picks up and holds up, it's going to sell. And she's one of those few people who, who can do that. A lot of people just don't trust influencers nowadays, but she's one of them that people still do trust her. Tati Wester people trust, Jeffree Star people like a lot. Like there are people that can pick up and sell. 
Shane Dawson too. If he promotes something, it's gonna sell the house. But anyways, that's pretty much all the drama I have for you guys today. Let me know what you think about everything. So smash that like button, comment, rate, subscribe. If you don't like the video, send it to your haters. So when they watch it, they lost 10 minutes of life and never get back. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Rich Box exclusive.